Hey guys, I'm Willy Chavarria. Welcome to my studio. This is our humble abode where my team and I make the magic that is Willy Chavarria. We do our photo shoots here, we do our pattern making, we do our creative brainstorming, we do it all here. And this is where the dream comes alive, so I'm happy to give you a little tour. This area is for packing and shipping and mostly for pattern making. This is the week after our big runway show, so things are a bit calm in here today. Normally we'd have about 10 or 11 people in here at once, a lot of music blasting, a lot of noise, people coming in and out, but today is like a nice peaceful time. So here we have Ricky Arenas, a beautiful, amazing photographer. He's working on some photos right now for a photo shoot we have coming up. We have some mood boards. This board is a culmination of so many ideas that I put together with my team, just finding things that are like of the moment or of the past that feel relevant to the collection we're working on. My heritage is innately important to me because it is me. I think that anything I do just automatically includes parts of my Latinx heritage and parts of the things that I've been inspired by throughout my life. I'm not just a Latinx designer, I'm a designer. I know that there aren't very many Latinx designers out there that get to my level, so I'm happy to own it and I'm happy to represent the Latinx community this is like our central hub. You can see designers designing at this table anytime, whether they're working on product now or developing new styles. No sample is perfect, even though it might look perfect on the runway. So what we do is we go through everything with a microscope and make sure that it's perfect relay that information to the factory before it goes into production. Inspiration, it really comes from everywhere. In this case, I think we had a lot of inspiration from turbulent times in the world and seeking true beauty in the world. So that's why in the collection we see destroyed pieces and then we also see incredibly, astoundingly beautiful pieces like the one I'm about to show you. It's this incredible ball gown that I am very, very proud of. And it's one of the most beautiful pieces we've ever done. It's part of our Spring 24 runway collection, just kind of representing this beautiful, angelic kind of prophecy feeling. You know, we wanted to design something that was reminiscent of like old Dior or early Balenciaga, really had this incredible volume but still felt very, very modern. So we kept our signature collar here. We use this incredible Italian silk taffeta with this giant pussy bow. And it's full of crinoline so that when the model walks, it would like kind of puff behind them. When we design, especially this last collection, we don't consider gender at all. My brand isn't just for brown and queer people. It's for everybody. So whether it's a ball gown or a suit, we look at everything together as a collection, and then we just put the models into the collection, whether they're male or female. Next is one of my favorite pieces. It's what we call the Heretic Tuxedo Jacket. It's actually part of a suit with like a very full pant. The entire jacket is made out of the tuxedo lapel fabric. Normally a tuxedo would have a wool blend or something in this part, but it's entirely silk and it's adorned with one of these handmade roses. I was lucky enough to have Moses Sumney wear this with me when we attended the CFDA Awards. It's also been worn by Tokisha, Tessa Thompson, and Venus Williams when she attended the US Open. It feels incredible for me when somebody's wearing one of my pieces. I'm still in that phase of if I see someone walking down the street wearing my clothes, I either stop and watch them and try to figure them out or I go introduce myself and say, hey, I designed that, <laughs> which is very corny. This hat I included in my last runway show. I did it in black, cream, and a few colors. This hat is very special to me because it symbolizes quite a bit. It's kind of modeled after my grandfather's hat, who was a farm laborer and eventually a ranchero. He taught me and my family the value of work and the belief in a future. This jacket I love. It's called the Assassin Trench. It is made of wool cashmere, mostly cashmere, and it feels incredible. What I love about this is it can be worn by so many different people. It's really just like a house. 
and it's got a belt so that it can just measure to your body. When this walked the runway, it always was worn with nothing underneath, which is almost like a cashmere robe, which feels incredible. So if you have the confidence to do that, that can be done. And it was worn by Bad Bunny on the cover of Time Magazine. It was the first ever Spanish cover of Time Magazine. So I'm extremely proud. It still smells like him. <laughs> this guy is incredible because it was part of my SS24 show where we were kind of looking at some of the destruction in the world and a little bit of the dystopia that we're all suffering from right now. And while it's destroyed, it's still completely finely tailored. I've always loved doing Destroy, but this season was one of my favorites because the story of the collection kind of went through a journey from like fresh faced, very, very clean cut innocence through the ringer where we had destroyed underwear. Some of the models were walking in underwear alone, just having been through it and then destroyed refined pieces like this which really just kind of helped to tell the story. And as we were at the bottom of the barrel and loss of hope, out come these amazing gowns to restore our faith in the future. I was actually surprised to get some negative hits about the destroyed underwear. I mean, we've been doing destroyed clothing forever. It is in no way meant to offend anyone. It's just the novelty of knowing that you're wearing this luxury piece that has actually been hand destroyed. And I actually think it's kind of sexy. These will be sold as vacuum packed pieces and they will be $550. Should I not say the price? Oh, actually they're 350. I mean, when you're pricing something like this, it's like, you know. Here we have some of the jewelry that was used in the show. My stylist and I, Carlos Nazario, wanted to kind of emulate like this feeling of luxury with all this jewelry, kind of mimicking what I wear, just like layers of these gold chains that are actually very reminiscent of both our heritages. So we layered the models with crosses and these amazing gold chains and put big signet rings on them. Really give this kind of this feeling of empowerment. So they're walking the runway. Even if they're in dirty underwear, they've got a Rolls Royce parked out front. Here we've got all of the clothes that are from the runway show. Now that things are slightly calmed down, I can focus on one, designing the next collection, and two, designing for VIPs slash celebrities. I love doing that. You know, I somehow always thought that I would be working with these big names. Dressing Kendrick Lamar was one of my favorite things in the world. I think he looks incredible in Willy Shavaria. Sam Smith, and it's, it's like the highest level of gratitude that I could possibly imagine. Thank you for coming to my studio, Elle. Pleasure having you. Hope to see you next season. Fashion is like so stupid when you talk about it. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to like not laugh at myself. <laughs>